WCW Thunder, or simply Thunder, is a professional wrestling show that was produced by World Championship Wrestling which aired on TBS from January 8, 1998 through to March 21, 2001. The popularity of WCW in 1996 and 1997 allowed for the creation of a new show, which became WCW Thunder. Thunder was taped on Tuesday nights and then aired on Thursday. A change for WCW as producer Eric Bistoff was very keen on its primary show WCW Monday Nitro being aired live every week. The rights to WCW Thunder now belong to WWE, who purchased WCW properties in 2001. The trademark for WCW Thunder was renewed by WWE in 2018. As of November 2019, all 156 episodes of Thunder are available to stream on the WWE Network. The popularity of World Championship Wrestling's primary show, WCW Monday Nitro on TNT, led Ted Turner to create a new show, which would eventually be named Thunder, that would air Thursdays on TBS according to the Wrestling Observer. WCW originally named the program Thursday Thunder, but dropped Thursday from the title to distinguish it from a similarly named program on ESPN and to provide TBS more programming flexibility if they were to move the broadcast to a different day of the week. WCW Executive Vice President Eric Bischoff was originally reluctant to produce another two-hour weekly television show for a variety of reasons. First, Time Warner, WCW's parent company was under a hiring freeze which prevented Bistoff from bringing in additional production people to run the show. Second, he felt WCW did not have enough talent to produce another show and risked overexposing them and making storylines less significant. Third, according to Bischoff, TBS refused to pay the cost of producing Thunder which was between $12 million and $15 million per year. Biskoff eventually decided that he could make the new show work and help pay for it by expanding revenue from increased house show business. Biskoff was also given permission to sign Bret Hart, specifically as a high-profile talent to perform on Thunder. WCW Thunder originally debuted as a live weekly show, but the schedule was changed by Biskoff in August 1998 due to complaints by wrestlers over travel demands. Tapings were expanded to four hours, with the first two hours being broadcast live and the last two hours taped to air the following week. WCW Thunder debuted on January 8, 1998 and drew a 4.02 Nielsen rating. The first match to take place in Thunder featured Chris Adams against Randy Savage with Miss Elizabeth. Adams pinned Savage after a chair shot from Lex Luger. The match decision was reversed by WCW Commissioner and Chairman of Executive Committee James J. Dillon. WCW Thunder debuted for viewers in England on October 3, 1998 on broadcast cable network TNT Europe. TV commercials for Thunder feature top ring talents such as Hulk Hogan saying observe this, brother. And the giant with this forecast definitely calls for pain. In 1998, WCW Thunder consistently had one of the highest Nielsen ratings on cable, at one time rivaling the audience size of a Thursday night NFL broadcast on ESPN. The Wrestling Observer reported that December 3, 1998, WCW Thunder show had a 3.7 rating head-to-head -head against the NFL game, which drew a 4.5 rating. WCW Thunder's success in 98 included ticket sales, as a number of live events sold out and grossed gates over 100,000. The WCW Thunder at the Fargo Dome in Fargo, North Dakota on April 16, 1998 drew 16,000 people and grossed a quarter of a million dollars in ticket sales, which were both record highs for that market. WCW Thunder switched from Thursday evenings to Wednesday evenings on January 12, 2000. Since WWF SmackDown debuted on UPN on August 26, 1999 in the same time as lot as Thunder, WCW has been losing to the WWF in the ratings on Thursdays including on Mondays, as this was the time WCW ratings began to steady decline that would eventually lead to the company's demise. On October 9, 2000, WCW moved the Thunder tapings to Monday nights, the same night as Nitro. After the live Nitro broadcast ended, the Thunder taping would commence. 
This practice continued until March 19, 2001, when Thunder taped its last episode. Brian Alvarez and R.D. Reynolds wrote in their book, The Death of WCW, the reasoning behind the tapings was attendance at Thunder events had dropped considerably over the previous 21 months. Towards the end of the show's run, WCW Thunder was the anchor of a TBS programming block known as I Watch Wednesdays, which was tied to the website TBS Interactive. After installing a web browser plugin, users had access to forums, games and contests related to the TBS programs, including Thunder. In an attempt to save WCW, Biscoff attempted to purchase a company with Fusion Media Ventures. However, although Biscoff's offer had been accepted, recently appointed Turner Broadcasting executive Jamie Kelmer announced shortly after his arrival that Thunder and all WCW programming was immediately cancelled on TBS. Biscoff's group then withdrew their offer, as it was contingent on keeping WCW programming on some outlet. WCW's trademarks and certain assets such as its video library and the contracts of 24 wrestlers, though not the company itself which still exists as a Time Warner owned legal entity under the name Universal Wrestling Corporation, were bought by the WWF, its longtime competitor. Thunder was the antepenal to make WCW broadcast before the final episode of WCW Worldwide on March 31, 2001. WCW Thunder is the final wrestling broadcast to air on TBS until the debut of AW Dynamite which will premiere on January 5, 2022.